joined by trainer Brad Cox. A very busy morning for him working his Kentucky Derby contenders, but every morning, afternoon, evening busy with a stable of your sites. Let's begin with just a touch. He worked solo this morning. What were you hoping to achieve from his final work? Just a good steady five eighths from the four and a half. It was a good move by himself, obviously. Uh, I had him a minute and three out 13 and change, and he's moving great. Florent breezed him, galloped out well. He's been steady, always been a steady workhorse. He's always, you know, we thought before he broke his maiden, he could possibly be a horse that could get to the Derby, and he has. He's accomplished a lot of things over the winter and into the spring, and he's doing very well. He's definitely one that's caught everyone's eye, I think, from the beginning. How do you feel about the mile and a quarter with him? I think he can handle it based off the pedigree. Um, I think he's, you know, his last run in the bluegrass was his first two-turn race, so I think he got a good bit out of it, bounced out of it in good order. He's, every day here at Churchill's been good. He's had two good moves here, and uh, I think he's set up for a big run, and I do think he can handle the distance. Catching Freedom and Encino worked in company heads up. What did you see from the two of them? Good move, Catching Freedom inside, Encino set on the outside. It was Encino's first work here at Churchill. Uh, very, very good. Catching freedom steady enough. He's not the flashiest workhorse, but he stayed on in the gallop out. Um, his exercise rider's been with me a long time. Uh, he breezed him. He thought he went great. Uh, if he's happy, I'm happy, and uh, I thought it was a good move for both. Let's stay on the subject of catching freedom. I've watched him train here, and he just seems to do everything right. He frames up in his gallops. Is he the mental athlete in addition to having the physical ability? Yeah, yeah. No, he's 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 high energy, uh, but he's he's uh, do, does a, does his job right. Uh, comes out here, like you said, he collects himself very well in his gallops. Uh, steady enough workhorse. Uh, you know, we schooled him once last week. He handles himself well in the paddock. So yeah, you know, he he's he's high energy, but he does do it the right way. Last question, we draw tonight. Have you decided on a rider yet for Encino? Uh, not quite yet. We're still, uh, we've got some ideas. I think we're kind of narrowing it down for sure, but we'll, we'll have a decision here shortly. I'm sure your phone's ringing off the hook. Down to the wire, naming the rider for Encino. Brad Cox, a busy morning here at Churchill Downs.